Hello and welcome to the advent of automation, your personal 20-day guide to streamlining your BI workflow. This is day six of our learning journey and today we are going to create not one, but three automations for Power BI Dataflow refresh. Having an always up-to-date data flow with pristine data is an essential aspect of any BI workflow. So buckle up because today we will cover how Power Automate can simplify the refresh process. Whether it's triggered by a new email, a button click inside the Power BI report, or a highly specific schedule. With that said, let's dive in. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to guide you through the world of data, analytics and automation. If this is your first time around here, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you won't miss any of my tutorials. It means a lot to me and helps others find content like this. Today's tutorial won't dive deep into what a Power BI data flow is or how to set them up. I've already published several videos on those topics and you can find a link to my data flow playlist in the top right corner. Instead, we will focus on how Power Automate can enhance our experience with data flows, specifically refreshing them. So let's head over to my machine and start automating. We will start with a scheduled data flow refresh automation. If you've worked with data flows before, you know that Power BI offers only two options to configure a refresh schedule, daily or weekly. For daily schedules, you can only choose limited times on the hour or half hour. For weekly schedules, you can select days of the week, but the same restrictions apply to the timing. This isn't a very flexible setup as there are many refresh needs that fall outside of these limitations. That's where Power Automate outshines the default Power BI options. Let's head over to Power Automate. Click Create and select Scheduled Cloud Flow. I call this flow Scheduled Data Flow Refresh. Just by using the interface, you will notice we have more options. You can choose a specific start date. You can customize the time more precisely. You can schedule the refresh to occur monthly, weekly, daily, or even hourly. Options for minutes and seconds don't make sense for this flow, so we will skip those. Let's select the daily option and click create. Now that we have our trigger on the canvas, let's tweak it. Set the time zone for relevance. Specify hours and minutes for the refresh. For simplicity, I choose 6, 15 and 21 for the hours and 0, 8 and 52 for the minutes. With this setup, we define six scheduled refresh times that better meet our business needs. Even though this tutorial is beginner friendly, let me mention an advanced feature, trigger conditions. By accessing the settings of the trigger, we can write formulas to schedule refreshes on more specific days, like the last day of the month or the first Monday of the month. This is extremely useful when you want your refreshes to align with specific business needs. Back to the flow. All right, now that we set up the schedule, it's time to add the data flow refresh action. First, type Power Query into the search bar and select the Power Query data flows connector. Then choose the refresh a data flow action. Next, select the data flow you want to refresh. For Power BI data flows, set workspace as the group type. Under group, select the workspace. Finally, choose the data flow in the workspace. And that's it. We successfully created a refresh schedule for our data flow, one that offers far more flexibility than the default options available in Power BI. Next, let's look at how to set up a Power BI button triggered refresh by utilizing our learnings from day two. Start by creating an instant automation with the Power BI button clicked trigger. Add the same refresh data flow action from the Power Query data flow connector. Select the same data flow we used before. To enable report users to refresh the data flow directly, open the relevant Power BI report, edit the report online, add a Power Automate visual, and link it to the automation we just created. Label the button as Refresh Data Flow 101. 
Finally, let's create an automated flow using the when a new email arrives trigger. We explore this trigger on day four. Imagine your IT team sends out an email with the subject data processing is done when the ETL process is complete. We can filter incoming emails by that subject using the advanced parameters of this trigger. Then add the refresh a data flow action just like before. This approach ensures your data flow refresh only occurs when data processing is complete. What makes Power Automate so flexible is that switching between automated, instant or scheduled client flows is seamless. The connectors act as building blocks, allowing us to reuse them in different contexts without writing a single line of code. Before we wrap up today's video, I want to show you one more feature that can really elevate your BI workflow especially when you're chaining multiple actions and triggers together. In other words, this is for you when you're building more complex automations. Let's head back to our automated cloud flow. Let's say you want to add extra steps to your flow after the data flow refresh. For example, you might want to send an email or chat notification to confirm the refresh is complete. Of course, you wouldn't want to send those notifications before the data flow refresh is finished, especially if it's a long running process. This is where the when a data flow refresh completes trigger becomes invaluable. To use it, add a new action and search for Power Query again. This time, switch the action type from actions to triggers. And just like that, you've added the next element to your flow. This trigger ensures the automation waits until the data flow refresh is complete before executing any subsequent steps making your automation more reliable and sophisticated. Isn't it fantastic how much we can achieve using Power Automate interface? Our goal today was to explore different ways to automate the Power BI data flow refresh using Power Automate and to understand how various cloud flow types can enhance our BI workflows. The ability to add the wait action at the end, ensuring that subsequent steps only run when the data flow refresh is complete, is truly the icing on the cake. As always, I recommend setting up a monitoring step at the end of your flow, like a Teams notification, to keep track of successes and failures. We will cover Teams notifications in an upcoming video. I hope you enjoyed this series and by the end of December, or whenever you complete the learning, you will have some great automation ideas to enhance your BI workflow. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below and I do my best to answer them quickly. Thanks for staying till the end. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, check out these tutorials to take your data, analytics and automation journey to the next level. Until the next one, see ya!